So last week we went over some pretty influential characters or creatures. Tracy Robert says Tracy. Whether it's the alcoholic waking you up at 3 a.m. to exclaim his lo love for you. I fucking love you. Or the gamer raging out over Fortnite on a Sunday night because, I mean, when else? I'm so fucking dumb, dude. I'm done with this game, man. Is he fucking bad, dude? He's so bad, man. No, are you kidding me? I couldn't build because of this stupid fucking crate, dude? Or maybe even the screecher utilizing his mating call in the hallway. <laughs> or the stinky boy, where his mere presence induces your gag reflex. <laughs> Well, that was a that was a really strong gag reflex, but that that's a good clip. I'm gonna keep that one in there. But all of these creatures play a very vital role in the ecosystem of the ooh, I like that the ecosystem, the ecosystem of the barracks. I don't really know how to segment this into like going into the personalities, so let's just let's just hit it with the drums and go. The barracks bunny, everybody's got them. Puck sluts if you play hockey. Bull riders have buckle bunnies. Rock stars have groupies. I feel like that's just called whores. <laughs> and the military has barracks bunnies or depending on what post you're on, barracks rats. I don't know. They, I feel like they come in tiers, barracks bunnies up top, barracks rats kind of near the bottom. Double B has taken on two roles within the barracks in particular. One being that of the morale booster. I mean, do I really need to explain that? I'm looking for a guy to cream my Twinkie, if you know what I'm saying. And then secondly, that being of a type of population booster or a population accelerator. But let's just imagine this for a second. Let's, let's switch it up. Let's switch up the genders. Imagine if you lived in the barracks as a male, but 90% of the surrounding genders were female. I guarantee you, you would be scheduling a booty call every other night. You're a whore. You're a whore, just admit it. Mm. The mad shitter. If you've never actually had to deal with the mad shitter or the phantom shitter, depending on which one you get, Lucky you. Gotcha, bitch! Have you ever been standing in the shower and you realize you gotta take a huge shit? What do you do? Do you sit there, finish your shower, clench your anus like an adult, shit when you're out of the shower, or do you pop a squat, waffle stomp that bitch into the shower drain and just pretend like it never happened? That shower is just ruined for like two weeks. Oh no! Shit! Not only all that, but when the next person showers inside of that shower, the hot water will actually cause the fecal matter to vaporize and then be absorbed into the faces of the next unsuspecting victim. So if you ever wonder why half of your company has pink eye, that's probably why. <laughs> the thief. It's Sunday night. You pull your uniforms out of the laundry. Lay them across your bed and notice that all of your U.S. Army tapes are just fucking gone. Not only that, you're missing a pair of PT shorts, a pair of bottoms, and three pairs of socks. Oh God, nothing left. <laughs> now at this point, there's only one other logical thing to do. Go steal someone else's. Ironically, the most likely reason that your uniforms were stolen was because somebody else stole that person's. For example, Adam notices that his trouser bottoms are gone. Where's my shit? He panics. But instead of buying a new pair, what does he do? He sneaks into the laundry room and scavenges unprotected dryers. They gotta, they gotta be dry. It wouldn't really make sense to go steal someone's wet trousers. That would take too much work. So anyways, he seeks out the correct size and then boom, a new pair of bottoms. So later that evening, Jacobs notices that his trouser bottoms are missing. Now he goes into the laundry room and steals Someone else's. The vicious cycle continues. All of this can be avoided by doing one thing. You gotta, you gotta ETS. You're a fucking idiot. The shit bag. Now don't be mistaken, the shit bag is not the senior specialist. The senior specialist is a master of his craft. His performance in the art of sham is well-crafted and masterful. He avoids pointless details with amazing accuracy every single time. But when needed, he performs his job better than anyone else in the unit. Now, on the other hand, the shitbag is just a fucking idiot. You're, you're a fucking idiot. If you want to be successful in the army, you only have to do these three things. Right place, right time, right uniform. That's it. 
But this concept is far too complex for your average shitbag. They're never in the right place, they're never on time, and they're never in the right uniform. It's almost impressive how accidentally shitbaggy most of them are. On top of that, they'll usually blame everybody else for their mistakes. The DJ. The DJ has absolutely no sense of auditory privacy. Not only is he delusional in thinking that everybody actually wants to hear his music, but he actually believes that everybody around him enjoys his music. Yo. He's essentially like this, this, the screecher. They both ear rape you without consent. I don't know how you would consent to that, but whatever. His biggest venue is constantly just the barracks. <laughs> The bathrooms, the mudrooms, and the smoke pit. It's time to stop! It's time to stop! And it's not necessarily because the walls are thin. It's because his music is so fucking loud. Don't even bother yelling at him to turn it down. Hey man, you can turn it down, it's kinda loud. Fuck you! If you guys like this video, it took a, sh took a fucking long ass time to make. We also have a shit ton of TSS vinyl window stickers. They'll stick pretty much on anything. You want to stick it on a cat's ass? Stick it on a cat's ass.